so are you having this kind of issue is your problem is that after upgrading wordpress from dashboard you are basically getting a white web page it is not that my internet connection is low first we need a good ftp or sftp software like filezilla or in case you love win scp like me you can use even win scp instead of filezilla win scp is a most robust sftp software but there is no official version for mac this win scp actually is running using emulation uh, we will describe this troubleshooting stepwise the first or the nth step solves your issue there is absolutely no need to do all the things we have shown here this is an extreme example of white page syndrome after upgrading wordpress uh, this is the root folder and you can see the php error showing here and this php particular php error has no particular solution uh, second way is uh, the conventional way to use a rename or uh, use a dot before the name as a process of renaming the folder so that it becomes inactive when you will remove this dot you will get option in the wordpress uh, backend uh, to activate uh, plugins or things you have to make sure that our cache is clear so that we are not getting a web page from the cache so it is important to empty the cache history and in case of Mac, using some script or some free software to fully delete the cache of Safari. So for my case, the method to deactivate plugin has not solved my issue. I am trying to delete older cache of WordPress as another try. I can delete it or rename it if I want.
as a precaution uh, it is better to have any plugin beforehand which renders uh, wordpress to fully html website so that you can uh, simply put in the root and the website appears live to the public for example in this case so this is basically emulating windows so i have to go to the users folder and then get started so ever when i open the html page i can see there is some issue rather there are a couple of problems which are difficult to solve so we have to test first whether apache 2 is running or not Based by Apache, we can easily use any default image or text file or HTML file to simply check the Apache is all fine to limit the problem within PHP. As in my case, I am using Rexus Cloud Manage account. I am quite sure that PHP is running fine and my PHP.IA9 memory is has practically no limit. I have set it to 8 GB. So you can see yes, obviously this is not right. Loading. I'm trying to update and upgrade WordPress. This is another method which we can try in case of failed database upgrade. But in this case, Nothing is working. So, this is a battery of test for testing Apache. So, in this case, I have to take the highest step, that is, I have to freshly install WordPress or root folder. It is not the usual method people usually follow. 
So I started to install WordPress on root folder. I moved the, all the files and folders to easily recognizable named folder. I have, I am selecting uh, the files and folders very carefully. So I have to follow my own tutorial, that's funny. The process is to delete the new WordPress installations, few important tables via PHP MyAdmin and import the same tables from my old WordPress installations database. This method will restore the WordPress at any situation from localhost to live website, from A named website to B named um, website, there is no problem. It's a very fine method. And you have the full control of each and every row. So here is the detailed textual guide. You can use a script to install WordPress. It is PHP script. It's very simple script. You can copy and simply create a PHP file and install the WordPress with a new database. Very important to understand that we must have to change the table prefix in case we are using a custom table prefix instead of WP. So this is my WordPress, new WordPress. It has no host, it is fresh WordPress. It's loading fine. Sell a word of default. WordPress installation. So basically this tutorial is the most important part for your restoration, this extreme method. This is PHP my admin of the new installation it is very important to understand the old and new installation separately you must be careful to take the backup from from the old database first by importing each and every important tables separately as SQL and you have to delete them in new WordPress installation and one by one you have to import them. So, in new WordPress installations, 
database, I am dropping two tables very carefully. Then I have to restore from the backup from my old WordPress installations, same named table. This method sounds very difficult, but it is not that difficult. You will get very much fun while doing it because I will see that one by one everything is getting restored. And this method can actually pinpoint if there is any SQL injection. And the result is fine. I have got back my WordPress. You can see the old post, old pages, everything is fine. 